So welcome to this service of communion, especially if you are watching via the YouTube link. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. My soul has a desire and longing to enter the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. The sparrow has found her a house, and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. At your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, for they will always be praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion, who going through the barren valley find there a spring, and the early rains will clothe it with blessing. O Lord God of hosts, Hear my prayer. Listen, O God of Jacob. Behold our defender, O God, and look upon the face of your anointed. For one day in your courts is better than a thousand. For I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of ungodliness. O Lord God of hosts, blessed are those who put their trust in you. We meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. And so we pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts, by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. God chose us in Jesus Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. So let us confess our sins and failings and ask him who is rich in mercy for forgiveness and peace. Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned against you and against our name in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past, and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who in his great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with heartfelt repentance and true faith turn to him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So let us pray. Father, let the gift of your life continue to grow in us, drawing us from death to faith, hope and love. Keep us alive in Christ Jesus, and keep us watchful in prayer, and true to his teaching till your glory is revealed in us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We're going to have our first reading. Chapter 3, verses 13 to 20. I am who I am. I am has sent me to you. Moses, hearing the voice of God coming from the middle of the bush, said to him, I am to go then to the sons of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. 
But if they ask me what his name is, what am I to tell them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. This, he added, is what you must say to the sons of Israel. I am has sent me to you. And God also said to Moses, You are to say to the sons of Israel, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name for all time. By this name I shall be invoked for all generations to come. Go and gather the elders of Israel together and tell them, The Lord, the God of your fathers, has appeared to me, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob. And he has said to me, I have visited you and seen all that the Egyptians are doing to you. And so I have resolved to bring you up out of Egypt, where you are opposed, into the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Pezzarites, the Havites, and the Jebusites, to a land where milk and honey flow. They will listen to your words, and with the elders of Israel you are to go to the king of Egypt and say to him, The Lord, the God of Hebrews, has come to meet us. Give us leave, then to make a three days journey into the wilderness to offer sacrifice to the Lord our God. For myself, knowing that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless he is forced by a mighty hand, I shall show my power and strike Egypt with all the wonders I am going to work there. And after this, he will let you go. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's psalm is Psalm 104, and our response is, The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord, tell his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Remember the wonders that he has done, his miracles, the judgments he spoke. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers his covenant forever, his promise for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He gave his people increase. He made them stronger than their enemies. Those hearts he turned to hate his people and to deal deceitfully with his servants. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Then he sent Moses his servant, and Aaron the man he had chosen. Through them he showed his marvels and his wonders in the country of Ham. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. So let us pray. <clears throat> Lord, you have promised that where two or three gather in your name, you are present. And so, Lord, we thank you that you are here this morning. We welcome you also, Lord, into our homes, our places of work, our hospitals and care facilities. And we ask that this day, Lord, we would experience your comfort, your grace and your courage. 
Jesus, you are the same yesterday, today and forever. You are the same Lord who made the lame to walk, the blind to see, and the dead to live again. And so, Lord Jesus, come into the experience of our lives. Stretch forth your hand to heal those we know who are unwell. Those who are suffering any, in any way, in body, mind or spirit. Lord, strengthen our weak knees when we are gripped by fear. Open our eyes to see others the way that you do. And be determined to assist where we can to build a better and fairer society. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Father, we pray that you would grant protection to all those who risk themselves for the good of others. We pray especially for our doctors and nurses and all those who work in the care industry, for those who work in supermarkets and factories. Lord, you are the Prince of Peace. We ask, Lord, that you would extend your peace into the nations of the world who are at war today. Enable them, Lord, to experience your forgiveness and to freely offer it to others in return. Lord, in your mercy. Hear Jesus, you are the light of the world, and in that light no darkness can dwell. In the darkness and uncertainty of this current crisis, may we see the light of your promise that you will never leave us or forsake us, so that we can say in confidence, what can man do to me? We pray, Lord, for those who have recently died. And we remember those whose anniversaries of death fall at this time. We pray especially, Lord, for Len Barrett. And Phyllis. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed are you, Lord God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him you send upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and make us a people for your own possession. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember now his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. And as we look for the coming of his kingdom, we make with this bread and this cup the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Accept through him, our great High Priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your Holy Spirit and nourish us with the body and blood of Christ, that we may grow into his likeness and become a living temple to your glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, 
have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his Son. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. <coughs> Let us pray. The Lord keeps in our minds the wonderful things he has done. He has compassion and love, and he always provides for his faithful. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The love of the Lord Jesus draw you to himself. The power of the Lord Jesus strengthen you in his service. And the joy of the Lord Jesus fill your heart and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the, in the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.